Hey, this is Mark from Performance Bicycle, and today I'm going to show you how to replace cartridge brake pads on a road bike. There's a few things to consider before you get started um, and as you're doing the job. One thing is uh, if your pads are pretty worn, then you will probably have compensated for the width between the pads with either the barrel adjuster or with the brake cable anchor bolt. So those are going to come into play as we replace, as we replace the pads. So first thing you want to do is remove the old pads and it's usually uh, somewhere between a one and a half to two and a half millimeter Allen uh, bolt that holds them in. So you just remove that bolt, set it aside. New pads come with new bolts. They have a little bit of thread locking on them so that they stay in place. Um, so you want to use the new bolts instead of reusing the old bolt. So once that is out of there, then you can just slide the cartridge out of the brake cartridge holder. Um, on the rear brake, uh, or as on the front brake for that matter, it's gonna slide out of the rear, rear of the pad holder. So you can do it um, with your hand, uh, you can do it with uh, uh, the Allen wrench you use to remove the, the pad bolt, um, but you just put some pressure on the front of the brake pad cartridge and, and it'll slide right out of the back. It's kind of a snug fit and if it's got a lot of build up grime and, and grit, it may be a little tougher to get out. Um, but it shouldn't be too hard for you. So I take the old brake pad, set it to the side, grab the new one. And this is where um, if you've uh, tightened your brakes up for pad wear, you're gonna need to open them back up again. So um, if you've done it with the, the barrel adjuster, just go ahead and back that out so it lets the caliper open back up again. Or um, if that's not the case and you've actually adjusted the anchor bolt to take tension, uh, put tension on the cable, go ahead and loosen that up, let the caliper open up a bit and snug it back down. And then once you get the brake pads installed, you may need to fine tune that. Um, so just take the new pad, just reverse what you did when you took it out. Um, there's a left and right. You'll notice that there's a slot in the pad where the, the bolt and the pad holder goes in to hold it in place. So you'll want that slot lined up with where the bolt goes in at the rear of the brake pad holder. Just get it in that groove, slide it into place until it stops, and then replace the pad holder bolt with the new one. And once you've uh, tightened that up to torque, then you want to make sure that the pad's in alignment with the rim. Um, key things you want to note is that the top of the brake pad is parallel to the rim and about a millimeter below the top of the rim so that you're not anywhere close to the tire as the brake pads are compressed. And also, uh, if you want to adjust the toe end of the brake pad at this point, it's a good time. Uh, the toe end is so that the front part of the brake pad hits the rim first, um, with maybe a gap on the, on the rear part of the brake pad of about a millimeter. What that's going to do is um, your brakes are going to be less noisy and um, less chattery if you do that. So you can go ahead and do that at this time as well. Okay, so once you have the new brake cartridge pad in and you want to adjust the toe end on the brake pad, um, you loosen the main pad anchor bolt and you'll have the, a small gap at the rear of the brake pad and the front of the brake pad will be touching the rim. Uh, and that will reduce the sh brake shutter and will also make the brake pads put out less noise when you're braking. So just loosen that bolt, tilt it a bit, snug it back down and you can check it with the brake lever, and you'll see that you have a small gap there. Okay, so that's uh, all there is to switching your cartridge brake pads out. They'll have a short break-in period, and then they'll be working as, as good as they ever were. Um, if you have more questions about installing brake pads or how to adjust your brakes, feel free to stop by one of the performance bicycle shops in your area, or you can contact our 800 uh, tech support line and talk to a spin doctor there.